So, <laughs> we have woken up to the realisation this morning we've arrived at work and Chris came to work and said, he told the lads off and said they hadn't shut his side door in his van properly because when he was driving to work this morning it had flung open. However, upon closer inspection, we've realised we've been broken into. So we have lost about £2,000 of equipment tools. It's this is a it's just a any builder or any tradesman knows this is just a I don't want to swear it's just a constant constant worry and a constant thing. There's no point in calling the police; they won't come out. They'll just give you a crime number. If you claim it's on your insurance, your insurance premiums are through the roof at the minute. So we're basically out of pocket. Obviously, hadn't accounted for this happening as you don't. So we've now got half of our lucky. Some of the tools are in my van, so we've now like we've we've we're missing all sorts, still sores and so on. We can't really afford to replace them at the minute, so we're just gonna have to kind of try and battle on, battle on with it. It's frustrating. I mean, like you say, the people going out stealing these things, we work hard, do you guys see it? We work hard, we pay all our VAT and all our tax, and we pay for these people to live. We pay a lot of money for these people to live. We pay the rents and we pay for their upbringing of their ranted little children and um, all these things and then as a, a, a gratitude they go out at night and break into people's break into people's things and work in people's property and steal it so absolutely disgusting can't say i'm not absolutely devastated gutted um yeah if any of you guys know of anybody we can get some some tools you know if you've got any contacts where we can get some tools a bit cheaper or can hook us up um, yeah, we need to replace a steel saw. Um, so we only we only had two anyway, which that we we use on both jobs, and one just ain't going to cut it literally because we, we just it'll it'll slow us down considerably. So yeah, if you guys can help, but uh, yeah, bad times. Good morning beautiful people it's raining it's gray it's dark it's miserable it's dirty isn't it con Indeed. it's mucky and it's bloody horrible but it's friday so gotta be happy and your birds <laughs> it's half past 10 we've had no cup of coffee this morning we've had no food and these two are banging in situ, almost. So we've lifted this path back up. Connell's just putting them back in now. This old clay paver path, we're gonna get that back in to there. Patio cuts are all finished. Put the step in. So Bert's is just cutting that out. Good old Ryan for a cut to go in there. Oh, what's happened here? The screen just went blank. I'm a I'm a noob to this GoPro. I thought it turned off, but it hasn't. The screen just went blank. So, put these curbs in. We've put the bull nose in there, so when they're pulling the bin up and down here, um, it's going to be a bit better for them. We've just bodged that in now. We've got to leave that to dry, and last thing we'll get in, clean all that down and polish it up. So that's in. Got to get in here and clean all these drains out, jet wash all that, jet wash all this. And what I've done this morning, if you can see, how old do you reckon this house is? It's old, isn't it? Yeah. Not too sure, but it's old. We're 60s. Ooh, he's saying 60s. Uh, yeah. No. Got a bit before that. It's early 1900s, isn't it? I don't know. We don't know. We don't know, but anyway. It's old and the brickwork is all over the shop. So I don't know if you can see there, but basically we've put the drainage up against there and there was a gap at the back. We've put a DPC liner down before we put it in. And obviously if any water would have got onto here, 
any rain that runs down would have ran down there, sat behind the liner and then caused more problems with damp. So we have siliconed that up, or I've siliconed that this morning all the way round, like that. And that's going to be waterproof and funky dory. What do you reckon, boys? We're going to get a coffee or what? Aye. We've been uh, insane. We're going to get a coffee all morning. We haven't. I think old neighbour was laughing at me doing YouTubing. Probably thinks I'm fucking mental talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> fucking he's twatch talking to him, Sham. So yeah, that's it. We're going to get in now. And we're going to basically jet wash all this, get it all spotless. Customer's now decided that he wants the slabs that are left cutting for copers on there. So that's just added a little bit of time to our day. When we thought it was going to be job and not, didn't it, boys? It's never job and not. It's not, you're right. It's never not job and not. There's always something else to something do. Extra. Something extra. But at BMP paving, we go the extra mile. Poor child. I know. <laughs> I wish we were budget and scarpet, it'd be easier, but we're not. Like so, the there you go. Everything's happy. We're I'm good. Our yeah, haircuts are crap. We need new haircuts. Excuse me, it's wee cold. That's fine. Right, that's Top nice. barber around, Mapley Barber Club. Mapley Barber Club. It's where we all go. Don't we, Bert? It is. Best around. He goes there, he's still, look at that. He's got fresh trim. His never grows, though. How old yours? He's about too weak, isn't it? No, weak. We oh, yeah, 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 fresh. Yeah. It grows a lot. They've got the haircut, same it. time, same haircut, same little fade, and they've all, they've all gone. Yes. So there you go. We're talking nonsense now. So we're going to get off, set up into a little beautiful time lapse. We'll get coffee. No, yeah, we'll go and get a coffee. But before we do, let's go and have a look what the man with no name is doing. He was cleaning all this. So we've had to come all the way down here, as you've seen, all week. He's been cleaning it all, and to be fair, made a good job actually, hasn't he? He's made a lovely job. Get a bit of advertising logo in there. Where is he? You left. What is he up to? What's he doing now? Nothing as per usual. What are you up to? <laughs> Scrumping. I'm going to my car, bro. Let's have a closer inspection what he's found. What is it? Plum. A what? Plum. A plum? Hmm. Where'd you find that? In that bush? Plum tree. There's a few more on the branch. Go on, have a little bite. A... Oh, he's taking it. We're going on. Well, I was going to turn it off, but we're going on a plum adventure. Plum. Let's go and have a look at plums. Get your gums around me plums. <laughs> Green buttons? Oh yeah, to be fair Some actually. Buttons. So people, if you're watching this and you're homeless, not that you probably would be watching, but if you are homeless or hungry, uh, Priory Road in Gedlin, there's a little plum tree. And you can go and get yourself some plums. Can I have a little bite? I want it after me. Let's zoom out, dinner. go and have a little bite. Go and have a bite. What's it like? Sweet? Ooh. Yeah? Ooh, that Man with no name saying yeah. He's saying Ooh. it's good. <laughs> get your send down to that plum tree and get scrumping. See you in a bit.
Right, we're done. We are done. Another week. Another dollar. Another dollar. Next week we are in. Know, what's the place called? Farnsfield. Farnsfield. We've got another patio to do. Oh yay. Two separate patios. So there's mm. one at the front, one at the back. Square. Uh, brick wall retainer around it. Two course, I think. Yes. We do now. Yeah all decking to come out so both of them are decking at the minute so it's going to be a pain in the arse to get that out two weeks one week my friend Behave. yeah i booked a week in for two that. 20 meter patios to do in a week you being serious yeah boy we ain't getting done in a week will we get it done won't we get it done we will see he's got his trainees on look old lad in fact why do i don't need to do that anymore i can just spin it like that because we're on gopro i keep thinking we're on the old ipad iPad? iPhone. <laughs> it's been a long week. He's swearing, look, middle finger. That's it. It's not. I'm not allowed on camera. Bro, you were on camera picking plums. <laughs> you did a whole documentary on plums, what are you are talking about? You picked and choose me <laughs> on camera. You know, some... <laughs> <laughs> we will say goodbye if we don't see you for a week. We'll see you for a window. Good night. Tara. Anything you want to say to the good people? No, goodbye. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning. No, is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's Monday morning, and we are in Farnsfield, in, well, just outside of Nottingham. So, interesting one this week. We have two patios to do around both sides of the house. We have got this being the first one. As you can see, there was some decking in here, been taken out. I should explain more on that. And the second one is all the way around here. Another challenge Annika moment. I'll explain about this decking in a minute. All the way around here, lovely little place. And there's another patio going in here. Both about 20 square meters ish. This one's a little bit smaller. So, as I was saying, today's plan was we were going to take all the decking out. However, last night, a customer emailed me, um, and we're not complaining, but very uh, thankfully, they decided they would uh, remove it all. So, which meant I hadn't arranged any materials for today. So, I've had to then uh, try and organize something. And I've managed, thanks to DJ Projects, to get some stone here. I've had to wait about three hours sat around. Uh, yeah, because again, that was our plan for the day, for Monday, was to get the uh, get all the decking out and away. So yeah, we had nothing to do. So yeah, that's arriving any minute now. It's about 11 o'clock. And we will start, uh, unfortunately, again, we're gonna have to hand barrow it, I think, and shovel it, because uh, we didn't make any plans. Folds is the favorite thing to do. Shoveling roaster. Yeah, man. Bert's is well happy. Yeah, always He's always happy. Always happy. Always happy. Yeah, we'll get bring some stone in today. That's about all we can do, really. Got some materials coming in the morning and we'll carry on with it. So, our roadstone's just arrived from DJ Projects Limited. However, as you can see, this road is a little bit narrow, so it's squeaky bum time. And I know Dave said, it's not going to scratch my van, is it? I told him no. There's a good possibility it will do. So Dave, if you're watching, me and Chris are oh, sorry for scratching your wagon. You got mirror in, don't it? Yeah, put the mirror in. That'll do it. Squeaky bum time. Once it gets down here, then you gotta get back out, backwards. <laughs> yeah. Once the stones drop, it's not our problem. Once the stones in, we don't care. We do really, Dave. We love you and we're sorry. <laughs> Bloody hell. We don't, when these houses were built in these kind of places, they weren't invented for this kind of thing. So anyway, go for a time lapse. Let's get this stone unloaded. Jordan Scratch, Dave's lorry. Hi, hi. Jordan <laughs> Scratch, Dave's lorry. I'll get the blame. The curtains are back, by the way, look. Started off this morning, it was looking all right and it was all swept back. And then as the day goes on, 
So anyway, we've got hard slog today now because we haven't got a machine. We've got to uh, get this unloaded now and uh, shovel and barrow. I do feel sorry for the boys, but I'm not going to help. So, we've got it in. We can. We get it out. Yeah. So that's got the lady at the end to move her car. We're getting there slowly. Don't you worry. Easy work. Straight out. No problems whatsoever. That was a bit sweaty bum crap, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> And off he goes. So that is all the stone delivered. Now we've got to show them barrowing. How much are them barrowing will you be doing this afternoon, Chris? Well, I'm barrowing. Do you think we should shoveling. do a couple of like little token ones just to show them the way? I'm going to, I'll barrow, but I'm not shoveling. Yeah, I'd agree. I'm not shoveling. Too old for shoveling. I've got injuries. I'll barrow. I'll barrow. Six barrows in me. Couple of barrows. I've got a couple. Right. I suppose we better crack on. Okay, so pile is finally shrinking. We're running the barrows round here, down the side of the house. And as Chris is so beautifully demonstrating, he's tipping the stone in here. Not too much more to come around this side, and then we start taking it around to the other. I think we probably need, probably need a bit more, but we'll carry on with it. Okay, so we've now stoned up the other side. Start bringing it around the right end of the property and get this one stoned up. And tomorrow, we're going to start on the other side of the house laying. Probably it's the bigger area, kind of makes sense to get as much as you can done. The sun's come out today, and I'm not going to moan because I've been moaning about the rain. But when you've got a shovel and barrow, 12 ton of road stone it makes it a bit more difficult. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is that it is all. Done, barrowed and moved onto both patios. We probably need some more ordering, but we'll sort that tomorrow. So what we've done is we've removed the existing gravel um, as well. We've tipped the stone, we've lost a bit, but the idea is we'll mix here, use it as a bit of a dumping ground, and then we'll clear it all at the end of the job, and then we'll, as it is now, and then we'll put fresh gravel down to we'll, like, hide the scene of the crime. And um, it looked brand new. It's probably a cheaper way of doing it than trying to move things around. Morning everybody, it's Nick at BMP. It is Tuesday morning, we're on site. Roadstone's in, ready to be whackered now. Got to put a recess lid in here. And we've just, John A's have just arrived about 10 past eight, so we can't complain, slabs are here. I'm not sure where he's parked, to be honest with you. He must be up top road. So we'll have a little nosy, see what he's doing. We requested it on a Moffat, which is like a lorry with a forklift on. So um, yeah, he's um, just unloading and loading things in. He's down there, look, if you can see. We'll bring it in on the forklift. A bit easier to place things on a job like this just due to how narrow the property is. I don't want to be getting a 20 ton truck down this, this driveway, as you saw yesterday. Wasn't that easy. Anyway, get rocking and rolling as we do. 
No, no, just put it there. Yeah, I'll have it, yeah. Just, just here. One there, one there. Uh, back a bit, probably. Yeah, that's all right. All about, it's all about product placement. So we can set the mixer up here. We have two bags of sand wall of cement. It makes it a lot easier, quicker. No doubt we can splash it all up the garage doors and as you do, nightmare. But so far, a good start to the morning. Let's get on. Okay, so as you've seen, we're all whackered. The first barra of Gobbo has just been tipped by Chris. We're all set up, materials are here. Got the SBR being mixed by Ryan. Fordy is unfortunately stuck on the mixer today. He's beautiful. Like Gets me out of the way. Gets him out of the way. So I suppose we should get some slabs laid. Okay, so we are slowly getting somewhere. We're just marking up a slab to cut down. Manholes in and set. We just need to point it all up internally. Making uh, making progress. Hot day. Folds have been on mix up. That's why it started playing up. If you put too much in it, it keeps cutting out. We think the uh, motor's going on it. It's had some amber over the years about two three years old so that's now gone in the back of the mind that i need to be ready to buy a mixer at any point now so because when they go they go and it's always when yeah when you're in the middle of using them so anyway i shall bugger off with my bad hairdo and get on some more work okay so we're getting somewhere manholes in near enough cut round well just a little cut to go in here on our fourth row chris reckons you can get eight done today don't you chris more slabs. Eight more slabs. Yeah. How many do you reckon, Paul? Two rows. Two rows. Two rows. Well, we'll see, won't we? We'll go to a time lapse. morning everybody it is wednesday morning and on the job we are making good progress um we managed to get a majority of the main patio laid that should be finished up in the next few hours um we're just taking a bit of excess stone out to the other patio we've got another row and, and so on to go in and then we can get started on the other side um should be done for friday it's gonna have to be we haven't got a choice 
Um, yeah, John needs to just arrived now, so we'll start unloading our materials because um, we've got the slabs and the sand and so on for the other patio that just arrived. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> we have woken up to the realisation this morning we've arrived at work and Chris came to work and said, he told the lads off and said they hadn't shut his side door in his van properly because when he was driving to work this morning it had flung open. However, upon closer inspection, we've realised we've been broken into. So we have lost about £2,000 of equipment tools. It's, this is a, it's just a, any builder or any tradesman knows this is just a, I don't want to swear, it's just a constant, constant worry and a constant thing. There's no point in calling the police, they won't come out, they'll just give you a crime number. If you claim it's on your insurance, your insurance premiums are through the roof at the minute. So we're basically out of pocket. <laughs> Obviously, hadn't accounted for this happening as you don't. So we've now got half of. Look, some of the tools are in my van. So we've now like we've we've we're missing all sorts, steel saws and so on. We can't really afford to replace them at the minute, so we're just gonna have to kind of try and battle on, battle on with it. It's frustrating. I mean, like you say, the people going out stealing these things. We work hard. You guys see it. We work hard. We pay all our VAT and all our tax, and we pay for these people to live. We pay a lot of money for these people to live we pay the rents and we pay for their upbringing of their ranted little children and um, all these things and then as a, a, a gratitude they go out at night and break into people's break into people's things and work in people's property and steal it so absolutely disgusting can't say I'm not absolutely devastated gutted um, yeah if any of you guys know of anybody we can get some some tools to, you know if you've got any contacts where we can get some tools a bit cheaper or can hook us up. Um, yeah, we need to replace a steel saw. Um, so we only, we only had two anyway, which we, we use on both jobs and one just ain't gonna cut it literally because we, we just, it'll, it'll slow us down considerably. So yeah, if you guys can help, but uh, yeah, bad times. It's like the Lord knows in it folds there. Oh, Talk about a bad day, now it started raining. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be dry all week. Hopefully it's just a shower. So yeah, anyway, as I was saying, ooh, a bit of water on that lens. Let me just, uh, there you go. Um, yeah, we're just continuing now. It's gonna finish this row here. There's another row in front and we'll put a curb in across the front. Um, obviously some cuts and stuff. So this patio should be pretty much done by lunchtime, we don't. Then we'll get started on the one round the back. The, uh, we've got a mixing station going. Folds are just sorting that out and then we're going to run this stone round and top up this other side. I can't lie, I'm absolutely gutted about this van breaking into thing. To be fair, over the years we've been quite lucky, I know people have had it worse, but um, yeah, over the years I bet it's cost us 10 grand in tools in 15 years, it's ridiculous. But anyway, yeah, top this stone up here and then we'll get started on this one. This one is slightly smaller, thank God. So. It's a push for Friday, but we like to uh, stress ourselves to death. So that's what we're gonna do. But we should be done and wrapped up. Anyway, I'll flick over to a time-lapse and we'll get some, uh, get some patio laid. Well, oh, I need a drink. The sun has come out, it's red hot, and we're still slabbing. This patio here is near complete. Just started running the curbs in, scoffing. We're gonna finish them in the morning. Back breaking, they're, they're quite huge curbs, really deep, so we're having to dig quite a big trench. So we wanna let this set properly and, and uh, get them in the morning. We find it easier to run the patio in, make sure it works slab and then put them in afterwards so we can make them work to the level of the patio. You can do it the way around. It's just, I suppose, it's preference, the way you learn, the way you do things. Um, we like to do things back to front, obviously. Um, yeah, getting there. Chris and Ryan have just started up on the other patio now. We're a bit behind target. Am I gonna have to put next week's job back a little bit? Maybe, bank holidays, so on and so forth. Could cause us some grief. Uh, we'll keep battling on, we'll know more tomorrow if everything goes to plan today. But this patio around here, like I say, a couple hours, 
work in the morning we're going to give it a wash off now we're just cleaning up the area we've been working at all the tools and stuff out and uh yeah it should uh should be done and dusted so we have finished up around this side for the day as you can see we've had enough of curbing for one day it was too hot stressful plus more importantly we need to get these slabs laid well as much as we can get laid around this other side today Friday's looking like a push if I'm honest things aren't going well but it's not the end of the world lads are just um, lads are just uh, laying this one up now around here and uh, he'll go to time lapse Yo, good morning. Uh, we're cracking on. Old Connell's dug that out for the rest of these curbings. He's all hot and bothered and sweaty. Look at lad. Oh no, I can turn it around. I keep forgetting around, on his bro. GoPro. Yeah, I'm sweaty. And now, look, this is how good he is, look. He's just dug all that out, sweating his little hairy body off, and he's come around here to load slabs straight away. Not even had a minute to stop. It's like a machine. Got old Stinke over there, making his mixers, doing his thing. Fucking angry. And, uh, take you on a little journey. Connell, why don't we do one of them things? We could have done one of them. Let well, people take them little pictures with their hands out like that. Oh. Uh, we've already started around here because I forgot to press play on the GoPro. But we are getting it done. Old Ebert, otherwise known as Ryan, otherwise known as Bertie. Banging these mixers in. We started banging that row in. Got the main man. K Dizzle. K Dizzle, yeah. Okay. Wait, let's get in on that sweat. There you go. Let me zoom in on that. Look at that, people. If you're watching this in HD, I do apologise. <laughs> yeah, what time is it? Nine o'clock. Get sweaty. I've got more sweat on me than everyone else put together. Respect. Respect. Right then, that's it. Bang into a little time lapse. Uh, where it goes really quick. Looks like we lay these slabs under a mile an hour, but really it takes all day, so. Catch you in a bit. Say bye bye. Yeah, bizzle. Morning everybody, a bit late in this morning, I had to pick up some joint and compound from a builder's merchant and also did a couple of quotes, quite nice little driveways, so we'll get them priced up later and sent. Spent the majority of the evening last night trying to scrape some tools together, so uh, luckily we've got a couple of companies we know and they've lent us some bits and bobs, but yeah, probably a couple of thousand pound a a damage or loss should i say so yeah a bit of a kicker bit miserable just makes you a bit angry but um it transpires whoever did our van did there was about four or five 
in the same area that got done so it ain't personal these people need their drugs don't they <laughs> so um yeah we'll crack on as we do so um yeah i don't know what chris mentioned a bit earlier so we're getting there chances are it's now thursday about 10 a.m chances are we should still get done tomorrow um fair bit to do bit of a rush it looks like we have to work bank holiday as well because we've got some repair jobs booked in um but this is all trenched out now ready if you can see that we put some of the curbs in yesterday we got a bit bored of it so and it's red hot so it's cooler today we're gonna finish these off and get them all bedded in they're set quite nice now so then the, i mean this patio is complete bar, bar one little cut in the manhole that we didn't have a we want to use an off cut rather than a full slab we'll see how it goes but yeah we'll get them dropped in later on today and then this patio realistic can just jet wash down and uh and uh joint it up got some new gravel coming we'll put some on the path down here and get this area all gravel back up nice and tidy get this muck gone and have a nice new patio area so it is coming together a bit of a slow one video wise really it's quite you know can't just time lapse laying slabs all day but that's kind of slabbing there's not a lot going on when you're laying 40 50 meters of slab you just that's what you do you lay slabs so but um yeah we're getting there Oh, man, that folds it up. Working on stop. <laughs> well, don't know about that. But yeah, Chris and Ryan are just around here getting on. We've got no radio, it's quite sad. We had two packs greatest hits. Oh, didn't realize the customer was it. <laughs> yeah, we had um, two packs uh, greatest hits on earlier, which is about all Chris has got on his, on his phone. So uh, yeah, we'll crack on. Right, so as you've probably seen on the time lapse, just Chris has ran a couple of rows in this morning. Got another, I think, row and a half to go in, and then this patio is complete, and we have to again curb all this side. Then pretty much, we're hoping tomorrow for it just to be jointing and cleaning up, really. So fingers crossed. Could do a barrel for that, couldn't we? <laughs> I know. Uh, <sighs> okay, so me and Connell have been out at work dropping these curbs in on this, we'll call it the left hand patio. So we're just marking up the last one now to cut it in. So as you can see, and obviously in a minute we'll show you the finish, what we'll do is we'll put the last cut in, we'll take all this excess soil out, tip it, get rid of it, and then we're going to get some gravel off the front driveway, rake that up, bring it round, re knock it about so it's all done and tidy. Um, and then probably jet wash the patio and uh, brush it in, I reckon. Thank you. Hi. Get this side completed. Not that I'm dry. Huh? Not that I'm not dry. I'll oh, be alright. You'll be alright. So how much have you got that cut off? How much? Will it not, will it not wedge in? Not that. You still have to cut it. <laughs> we'll be back. We'll let you know. <laughs> okay, so. It was a cut, unfortunately. We had to cut 10 mil off the last one, get it in. Problem with these curbs is they're tumbled. So some of them, they look like they've got chips and chunks missing, but it's kind of the way they are. But it's, uh, yeah, some of them, you see on the front, he's like, they're, they're called half battered. But they literally are half battered. So anyway, we're all done here. We've dug out this soil from this area here. That's all come out. Connell's just set the jet wash. We'll give this all a wash down now. Uh, and then I think we're, we're going to brush it in, get it jointed up. So this one will be near finished bar, probably graveling that we'll do tomorrow. And obviously we'll re-gravel up this area. So yeah, we'll flick over to the time lapse. Okay, so it's a job well done as you can see all the curbs are in now we've pointed it up put jointing compound in 
Just need to install the gravel now. I'm going to wait for it all to set. We'll do it in the morning. Got a bit of concrete to clean out these gravel chaps here. Excuse me, that's my phone ringing with my uh, Pina Colada song ringtone. Um, yeah, so this one's about done now. We'll clear all this up, let it all dry out a bit. Uh, and then tomorrow we'll bring the gravel in and re-gravel this area here. So we'll get, show you all finished in the morning. It'll look really good. So just realised as well, I've just been made aware of a bit short on cement. So uh, yeah, I'm going to have to make a bad dash now. We'll fold in, go get a couple of bags, get this job done. So that's our next little mission. Okay, so we'll just set off to the handy centre in Sovel. I'm going to pick up some uh, cement. So it's quite, well, it's not quite a way because it's in the countryside, but they're quite fast, straight roads. So it doesn't take too long, but it's a few miles away because we're actually working in the middle of nowhere. But uh, yeah, we'll get them, get them collected and rocking and rolling and uh, we'll get back and then Chris can carry on with his uh, shenanigans and um, yeah, get his patios done. Okay, so why we have been finishing up that patio at the back, Chris and Ryan have been finishing up this one and we'll call it the right hand side. So he's built like a bench out of concrete to retain it all. He's just putting the last slobs in and installing the curbs to the height now. Just dig, dig a bit of a trench here to get them in. So that'll probably take us the end of the day now. It's about three o'clock. And uh, should be done tomorrow. Good morning. It's Friday morning. Oh, there's something in that bush. That wasn't a bird, it was too big. Could have been a cat. We are near completion. Got a bit more work to do on the right hand patio. As you can see, look, Chris has been setting all the curbs. Look at that bad boy now, look. <whistles> Looks beautiful. So he's nearly completed that. Just gotta run the rest of the curbs in here. I believe, I think there's some couple of slabs going here, like a step. So you step down, there'll be a couple of slabs in this area. But bar that, it's just a good clean down now and pointing up. So a couple of hours there. In the meantime, me and the boys will get the front all cleaned up, re graveled where we've been mixing so that you will never know we were there. And uh, the other patio around the back there, that all graveled up and tidy. So, um, plenty to be getting on with in the folder. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. You ready? For what? Do you reckon we can get done by one o'clock? Yeah, we'll, we'll say half two just to make it safe. Yeah. We'll see, but we're getting there anyway, can't complain. Uh, still a bit miserable about the old tool thing, but such is life. But we shall crack on as we do, the show must go on. Okay, and this is the left hand patio. As you know, we completed that yesterday. Um, just got to tidy these bags up, take these tools out. We've got a load of gravel coming, so we're going to bring that in. Just re-gravel back over this stone and so on. Bring the level back up the gravel. Gravel around the outside of the patio, and this one, is done and dusted hopefully a nice easy finish today but you don't know things can go wrong okay so why chris and ryan getting that patio finished me and Colin and I are just going to start loading this gravel round, taking it round to this area here and just topping all this up, tidying up. We're going to take some of this concrete out of these gravel traps and then uh, fill them with gravel, get this bit all done and tidy. So if you just saw on a time lapse, that's all the gravel in. We've just got to clean it up now. We'll give it another good wash down. And this patio is complete. Okay, so this side is pretty much, just need to top a little bit more gravel up. This side's pretty much in and done now. Just needs a wash off. This is our little office. And um, we're gonna put some gravel in here last, but we ought to knock it down on the front, see what we've got left. But yeah, so we're just uh, gonna get this mixing station all cleaned up now and packed away and get this drive looking. It was just a gravel driveway like this. Obviously we've had to take some of it off with the grab and so on. 
so we're, uh, we're just gonna tidy that up now and get it all re-graveled. Okay, so as you've just seen, that is the driveway put back. How we found it. Well, bar a few tools and little bits and bobs, but they're next on the agenda. So we'll get my van loaded up now, get rid of all that. Uh, and I'm just waiting for them to around there to finish doing what they're doing, and we'll continue. Okay, so that is, that is the garden. This side all done, patio's done, curves are in, steps in. Ryan's just going to give it a blast off now, and then what, point it up gravel? Point it up gravel, that's Sweet. it. Sweet. All right, we'll flick over to a time lapse. So, oh, one of them, one you. of them has been uh, spraying the other one. Ryan has now got all of the hose pipe. Ryan, when you ready? <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach you. Okay, so just finishing up now, grabbing up, washing down. Nearly there. Friday lunchtime finish. Happy days. I can go home this weekend, lick my wounds, and look at tools on the internet. <laughs> oh. Okay guys, so that is us done for another week. Beautiful garden, beautiful location. Customer now has two beautifully freshly installed Indian sandstone patios. New gravel in, nice setting. Just getting these hose pipes tidied up and away. Driveways back to how we found it. Gravel everywhere. Lovely little place to live, this. Farnsfield in Nottingham. So if any of you have got a spare million quid, you can come and live down here and pay over the odds for everything and uh, have to travel everywhere to get shopping. But uh, nice place to live. And here is the other patio. Couple of days for the compound to set, solid. Yeah, you can foot traffic's okay, I suppose. Just be a little bit careful. The other one's obviously had a day to go off. Anyway, Chris has just given it the final mist. Look, his sad ears look, so all his tools are gone. Uh, it's all right, my, my daughter's con eat this week. Yeah. I just rang home and said, look, you're gonna have to not go shopping. Go buy another steel sword. Taking everything from me. Hold his agreed to have no- Everything! <laughs> Foldsy's agreed to have no wages for the month to help oh, replace things, haven't you, Foldsy? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's not going to happen. Hell no. We're a team! I'm gonna turn when one of us lose, we all lose! I'm going to turn up Monday, it's alright. Oh, I don't. Oh, I don't. So that's what it's done to the firm, you see? People rubbing our tools. Brokenness. Brokenness. You've formed a wedge between us all. We need someone. We need. We need a hero to come and save the day. We need a hero! Anthony from Frank Keys, Anthony, where are you? Anthony from Frank Keys, if you're watching this, contact us and help us out replacing tools. <laughs> or anybody. Or anyone else. Anyone. Anyone out there. Oh, yeah. Milwaukee, I we'll even set up some biscuits and crisps though. <laughs> right, right, Chris, right, yeah, some snaps. snaps. We're struggling to get snaps around here. You know the red bags of snaps you get? You can't get them around here. They're our favourites. Get rid of every shot. Shut up, Chris! <laughs> that was a plea oh, to the public. You've ruined it now. Oh, useless. I'm going to send them. Anyway, look at this, love. I've had it. No water on this. Look at the runoff on it. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. No beautiful. Water 